Hello, everybody, and welcome to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth, and today I have yet another book review for you. This time it is The Ring of Rachmador, which is the first in the Red Blazer Girls Mysteries by Michael D. Bill. Now, you might be saying, Beth, didn't you read this a long time ago? No. No, I didn't. The Red Blazer Girls was published by Michael D. Bill in 2009 through Scholastic, or this edition was anyway. And this is The Ring of Rockamador, which is the very first in the Red Blazer Girls uh, series. I've given it a three out of five stars. I think the idea behind it is pretty solid. I like the friendship that happens. I like the way it is happening and the way the friendship is described. And I love that these are really smart girls that are working together. Um, however, it's basically a slightly updated version of Nancy Drew or Harriet the Spy that has been tweaked to involve four girls and a possible love interest that also includes references to great expectations and upper geometry. So, you know, it's, I feel like it's been done and it was written in first person and meant to sound like one of the middle school girls was writing this all down for us, which actually took away from it for me. So I did give it three out of five stars. However, I loved the female friendship and the fact that these girls are self-proclaimed nerdy, geeky, and happy about it. And that they go to a Catholic school. So there's a lot of religion in there as well as a lot of French because one of the characters is French. Her dad is from France. She speaks fluent French. Her grandparents still live in France. And another one of the girls is Polish, moved over from Poland when she was, I believe, eight or nine. And we actually meet a Polish grandmother who comes over for a visit. And, you know, I really liked that as well. Uh, I did like the story. It just fell flat for me. However, I have a fourth grade friend who is in the class that I do um, some tutoring with who is a voracious reader and has read three of these. I think there are three out and she's read all of the ones that our library has and she loves them. She thinks they're great. It makes her feel smart and she has checked out some other books because they have been referenced in the Red Blazer Girls and I think that is phenomenal. So even if it's not really your speed to read this middle grade mystery, even if it falls flat for you, perhaps there might be a girl somewhere in your life in the fourth, fifth, sixth grades that might want to pick it up and get something from it. I do feel like the students talked about in this book, the main characters, they're a little bit um, advanced brain-wise, even if they're super smart. You know, they're just normal kids going to Catholic school in the middle of New York. And so while they're talking about they're super smart, they're very artistic, and, you know, they're the upper level, they're still only sixth graders. So some of the things that happened kind of felt unbelievable for me because they're still 12, you know. Other than that, it was a good story, and I feel like you should probably check it out if you like mysteries, if you need a pretty easy read to add another book to your count for your Goodreads challenge, and you don't mind reading um, a middle grade mystery, please definitely check it out and let me know what you think of it. I will see you guys again very soon, and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.